Hello. Uh, so it's been perhaps um, a week after score release, I believe. And uh, I got my score back and it was about four points below my average. It was a 512 with a 124 in cars, which is, well, I'll get back, I'll get to that later. But the other ones were, it was 129, 124, 130 and 129. So, you know, just around what I pretty much been scoring for the other subsections, um, besides cars. Uh, cars, well, even cars was kind of always and um yeah for cars i i mean i really just i think i said this before on my previous video by rng it. i didn't really finish any of the q packs or anything and i just prayed and hoped that it would be okay um but i ended up scoring like i think i use i usually only scored 125 i've only ever scored 124 and that was on my first practice test so I scored my score on my very first practice test from Altius. So that was, um, I mean, it took me about a week to kind of get over it because I did score, you know, below, below my average pretty much. Uh, well, below my AMC average, but still above my Altius average and my Altius and AMC combined. So it was a little bit of a shock, I have to say. And I, if I buy any advice, because I am... Definitely, I'm not retaking this exam, a 512 for me, um, because personally, I want to just do primary care, family medicine. Um, I'm not really gunning, uh, even before the MCAT, I wasn't really gunning for like any kind of competitive surgery or neurosurgery or any of those competitive specialties. So it didn't really matter where I went. So as long as it was a USMD or a USDO. Um, and so with this score and um, with my GPA, my GPA, for MD schools is about a 3.8 science. Um, for DO schools, it's about a 3.87 because DO schools, they calculate their GPAs a little bit differently for science. So with those two combined and um, with my plan to pretty much have this gap year as a clinical gap year, and then the next gap year being a non-clinical gap year where hopefully I go work for AmeriCorps and I, um, I do a bunch of non-clinical volunteering um, and just to get a lot more experience and just see a lot more things in life. I think with those things, um, along with, uh, you know, obviously pre-writing my primary and my secondary is like a year before, so I can submit it on the first day. I think with all those things, um, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely be a pretty, in pretty good running for DO schools and maybe I could snag an MD or two. Um, but I'm honestly, I'm not really expecting to go to a, an MD school at this point, you know, being California and an overrepresented minority at this point. Um, you know, it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm already, I'm just happy that I can still become a family medicine doctor. I can still go to DO school and become a family medicine doctor and really, you know, kind of, I mean, it's kind of do my dream because my dream actually initially was to become a pediatrician. Um, but then I realized that I don't know if I want to deal with kids all the time. I don't mind kids, but I don't know if I want to deal with them all the time. Um, and then it switched to becoming a family medicine doctor um, because I just really like that longitudinal, you know, connection that I can get with patients. And, you know, from like birth to death, I can see a patient from birth to death. It's just really rewarding for me. So all in all, I mean, I'm happy. I just hope I don't get screened out for my 124 cars, but looking online, um, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I might have to explain it during interviews, but it doesn't look like that might happen, except for, because I'm not applying to any top 20, so I probably won't get screened out for that. Um, but yeah, um, I am, it took a week, but all in all, I'm pretty satisfied um, with my score. I'm not retaking, you know, I mean, it's already hard enough to get the 512 score that I got right now. I can't imagine retaking this exam again. I, mean, I don't want to do cars again. I'm just, I, I don't want to do it again. You know, I'll probably, you know, I'm probably just gonna like read a lot now just because you know it kind of shocked me a little bit and read more and critically analyze stuff more. But yeah, I, I really don't want to do that section again. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not really sure what exactly I'm gonna make or what exactly I'm gonna do with this channel now. Um, 
maybe like talking about my scribe journey or yeah i'm not really sure uh yeah i don't know we'll see but uh i hope every one of you that has been following my journey and you know don't like don't don't if cars if you identify that cars is your weakness you know don't be like me and just like push it off and just do the stuff you're good at because that's often as humans you know we often do that we only like to look at the good results and for me the good results were pretty much chem fizz bio and psych -soch. um and i didn't i just kind of had to roll the dice on cars and it just, just it didn't really work out for me then but still i got a good score that i don't have to retake with um and but if i could do it again next time you know i would definitely spend a month on cars you know going through all the q packs and just really nailing down the amc logic because i just got really lazy towards the end i mean i, I just i i just couldn't do it you know I, I i really couldn't do it um but yeah uh so anyone who else who is studying you know good luck um don't get complacent and we'll make it through this